okay so hello and welcome back so in this video we will do exercise 1.1 so essentially over here in in this in in essentially in all of these um, ncert ncert textbooks which are which are of course related to mathematics in all of these essentially usually what i what i what i do is that out of each chapter i create a course okay um and then of course um at, and, and then in essentially each chapter of course comes in the form of a pdf book something like this and the pdf book essentially you have the text over here you have we have already talked about this so all of the material that we use essentially comes essentially in this in this pdf format that you can of course uh download from the um, the from the website that we talked about and then every essentially every section of the book is 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 concluded by a set of exercises for example you see over here that exercise 1.1 is right here and it is if you want to follow essentially this line of ncrt textbooks essentially text if you, if you want to 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 essentially to follow these this line of textbook in in order to learn mathematics it is absolutely necessary and recommended that you do essentially all of the exercises that you find in this text that essentially gives you a very solid foundation for mathematics if you don't go through the exercises you're not going to get much out of essentially out of your mathematics here you have to of course understand the theory and everything that comes with the theory but then essentially it's in the exercises that your theory essentially comes together right and of course all of the solutions you can find i mean the the, the solutions i do all of them and put them in the courses so you can you can have access to them or basically you can also you can always go to um, essentially this website over here which is the tiwariacademy.com so um so um so let's say that for example let's let's, let's say that you, you go to this website you go to this website essentially tiwariacademy.com and that is your website okay and as you can see this is Tiwari Academy and then you can go over here select your class for example this course comes in this chapter comes in class 6 basically and then you have the class 6 math for example and then chapter you can choose so the chapter is for example chapter 1 knowing our numbers that's essentially how where we got the course and then find solutions and then you see that it comes essentially over here you see class six math chapter one try these and then chapter uh, class six math exercise 1.1 in english 1.2 in english so there is one set of exercises 1.1 there is another set of exercises that comes um, after a few videos that that is 1.2 whichever one you want and uh, sometimes you can even download these in in the form of um, in the form of pdf but for essentially for the essential for example for this particular case that the pdf download they have a, they have not placed on the website so you have to use the website directly and so if i if i this is the state board and this for example exercise 1.1 and you see the exercises over here for example chapter one knowing our numbers exercise 1.1 and then you have the the question and then you have the answers question answer and so on so the 
the solution is essentially there but then you have to make sure that the exercises you have to do them yourself i mean ideally you have to do them yourself if you find that you have some some problem with some exercise then of course then you can always come back to the solution that you find on the website or you can also take a look at my my solution and then essentially solve the problem that way and move on okay the exercises are important <clears throat> now the uh, the exercise that we have is as follows so then long story short we have exercise essentially this is basically class six class six chapter chapter one exercise 1.1 1 .1. okay this is of course of ncert right now question number one is essentially fill in the blanks question number one is fill in the fill in the blanks and part a is one lakh is blank ten thousands ten thousand right so you want to know essentially one essentially one lakh is how many ten thousands right so you can for and then and then for example after this question comes basically for example one million is how many hundred thousands or one crore is how many ten lakhs or one crore is how many millions and so such questions essentially to answer such questions of course i mean um, it's not i mean at least i could not ever memorize things like this i have to draw my own tables i have to take a look at the and use logic essentially in order to, to to answer such questions so if you don't if you cannot draw the table essentially from memory you can you can just write write down a number like this for example this is uh, this is essentially this is thousands this is like and this is crore and so this 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 number would be for example 10 crore and then based on this number then you can write your place values in a in a, in a table meaning that i could for example do a table like this and this would be the ones place value so this would be essentially the ones place value this would be the 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 tens place value this would be the hundreds place value this would be for example coming over here this is the thousands place value th this is the ten thousands place value so t th and then and then over here we have the the lakh and then we have the ten lakh here and then we have the crore which we used CR and then 10 crore. So that's essentially the table that you have, the table that you can use, right? Now in this table, in this table essentially, for example, then one lakh would be, for example, one lakh would be this number over here, which means one zero 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 zeros of course one like we already know that it's it's a hundred thousand but but essentially we did need to to us to 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 do the table in order to do essentially to solve other problems now one like would be this number right and then you want to know how many ten thousands there are in one like so ten thousand would be essentially the number all the way up to here right and then this number you have to multiply it by a factor of 10 to get to 10,000. Or essentially one, one, one other way that you can use in order to solve this problem. 
So one like would be a hundred thousand, right? And then if you divide the essentially if you divide it by ten thousand, which is essentially this number over here, you see that basically three zeros you can cancel out with three zeros. One zero you can cancel out with one zero, and then what remains is a ten, which means that basically a hundred thousand divided by a ten thousand is the same thing as ten. Or in other words, you can say that you can say that essentially one lakh by a ten thousand is equal to ten which means that essentially one lakh is 10 times a 10,000 or essentially there is 10 10 thousands in one lakh right there is 10 10 thousands in one lakh so then I could say that basically one lakh is 10 10 thousands right so if you if, if essentially if the if the table confuses you you can use essentially for example simple division in order to solve the problem as well right now the second part of this question is the second part of this question is is 1 million part b of the question is 1 million is equal to so many hundred thousands so many hundred thousands so what is what is the relationship between a million and a hundred thousand so you see that basically one million is one zero essentially one and then following is essentially six zeros so you have that that is one million right and a hundred thousand is basically this number over here which means this is hundred thousand right so now how many hundred thousand you want to know how many hundred thousands there are in one million and of course the answer is ten because essentially you can see that 1 million is essentially 10 times 100,000. If you cannot see it already, you can write essentially 1 million over here and divided by, divided by 100,000. And then just simple, do simple division in order to see how many hundred thousands there are in a million it's just simple basically simple long division so the division you can also write it as a million so a million divided by for example a hundred thousand right and that's essentially simple division so i have to go all the way up to a hundred thousand which is all the way up to this digit and then how many hundred thousands there are in a hundred thousand that's the answer is one and so one times a hundred thousand is a hundred thousand and so if i subtract i'll get a zero and then there is a zero over here which comes over here that's essentially a 10 so the answer is a 10 basically right so which which essentially tells us that this essentially tells us that there is there is ten hundred thousands in a million, right? Which there is ten basically hundred thousands in a million, right? So that's essentially how you can solve, for example, this problem. Then the the, the next part of this question is part C, and the part C is asking essentially one crore is equal to how many 10 lakhs right so again what is a crore a crore is basically this digit of this this place value over here one crore meaning one crore would be one zero 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 which is the same as essentially 
if I put the separator here and let's say basically if I put the separator here another separator here and another separator here the number would be one comma zero zero comma zero zero comma zero 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 that's one crore right and then what is 10 lakhs 10 lakhs essentially would be this this place value over here which means that 10 lakhs essentially would be this number one zero 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 separated this this way so that would be essentially 10 lakhs. If I divide by 10, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, now I can do the division, meaning simplify these with these, simplify this with this, simplify this with this, and then what remains is a 10, right? Which means that essentially 1 crore, which is 1, this is 1 crore, divided by 10 lakhs which is 10 0 0 0 0 0 is gives me a 10 right which means that there is 10 10 lakhs in a crore there is 10 10 lakhs in a crore right so there is basically there is essentially i have to, to erase this So then the, then the question part C was was basically one crore is how many 10 lakhs and the answer is 10 so there is 10 10 lakhs in in a crore basically right there is 10 10 lakhs in a crore and again these things of course there is no point in 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 uh, memorizing them of course as long as you, you're able to, to use simple logic to, to, to answer the question that's more than enough of course if you can uh, if you can essentially memorize essentially if you can do all of these in your head that's of course very that, that's that's of course great but not everyone is is, is probably able to do that and so you you have to 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 essentially this is this is the simplest way that you can that you can solve such problems and then and and of course using this 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 method there is no way to make mistakes unless you make mistakes somewhere in in the operation of course which is if you actually pay attention to what you're doing it's it's almost impossible to make mistakes when you're doing essentially this type of operation so that is basically that. Now, the next question that we have is um, part, essentially part D of this question is one crore is how many millions? One crore is how many millions, right? So you know that one crore is basically this place value over here which means that if i write one zero 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 that's a one crore right so uh, which means that essentially one crore is the same thing as one comma zero zero then essentially zero zero and then three zeros right a million is the same as 1 million is the same as 1 comma 0 0 0 0 0 0 6 zeros right now if i write essentially you can see that you have six zeros over here and you have three plus four is seven zeros over here which means that essentially a million essentially a crore is 10 times a million right or essentially there is 10 millions in a crore and you can of course do the division meaning one crore you can write it as one comma zero zero comma zero zero comma zero 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 and divided by a million which is zero 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 that's one crore that's one million and essentially you do the division to to know how many millions are there in a crore right 
I'll just I'll, I'll I'll after we have done essentially after we have, we we are done with this exercise I'll I'll I'll, I'll show you essentially why I'm why essentially based on what sort of logic I'm actually using the division right so now if you divide you can see that there is essentially three zeros and three zeros you can cancel out three zeros you can cancel out with three zeros and what remains is a ten which means that there is ten millions in a crore right there is ten millions in a crore right so that's essentially how you, you, you answer this question. Now, based on what am I saying, based on what am I using the division in this case? You see over here, essentially division is something, um, division essentially in mathematics is related to uh, subtraction. So division division and subtraction division and subtraction are like brothers and sisters they they essentially do the same thing meaning that um, for example if i want to suppose that i want to add i have basically three pebbles over here another three pebbles over here another three pebbles over here another three pebbles over here, another three pebbles over here, and so on and so forth, right? So suppose that there is a large number of these groups of pebbles that I have over here. Now I want to know in total how many pebbles I have. How, how do I calculate that? So I have to write, for example, three pebbles plus three pebbles plus three pebbles and so on and so forth, plus three pebbles. Now if the, the number of um, groups where for example like 102 groups i had over here then i would have to write this 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 division 102 times meaning 102 essentially of such numbers i would have to use essentially in my addition and then i would have to do the the addition 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 9 plus 3 is equal to 12 it would take me the whole eternity to go through this operation in order to do this type of operation, in order to make it simpler, we say that basically, for example, let's say that the number of groups were 5. So I would write 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, 5 times. That is 5 times. Is the same as basically 5 times 3, right? Which is the same thing as 15. Which means that essentially in, 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 instead of writing 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 five times, I can simply write 5 times 3 and then calculate it as 15. Otherwise, I would have to do the addition here. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. 12 plus 3 is equal to 15. And then, of course, this is just 5 times. If it was like 180 times, then it wouldn't, it wouldn't, humanly be possible to do the operation so you see that you see that addition and multiplication addition and multiplication are, are like siblings they work together meaning instead of adding you can multiply right and the same goes for division and subtraction division and subtraction are also siblings instead of divide instead of subtracting repeatedly you can divide right so as an example when you say for example when you say for example 15 divided by 3 meaning dividing 15 by 3 and that would be for example 5 5 times 5, five times is equal to 15 subtract and the remainder is 0 this essentially tells us, um, this essentially what I'm asking is how many threes are there in a 15, right? Or if I, if I say 289 divided by a 17, for example, and I get some number over here and then some remainder over here, what I'm asking is how many 17s are there in 289, right? 
and of course you can you can um, basically in your mind you can essentially you can make connections between all of these things by 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 doing a simple experiment meaning that for example you know that 8 divided by 2 is the same thing as 4 and then 4 times 2 is equal to 8 subtract 0 right so this essentially means that there is what i'm asking here is how many twos are there in an eight and the answer is four meaning there is four twos in an eight and so and so essentially by using the long division i can in in just a few steps i can come to the to the answer but suppose that i'm asking the same question how many how many twos how many twos are there are there in an eight so how do how do i know that so i have eight pebbles over here two four six and eight i have eight pebbles over here and i want to know how many twos are there in an eight so i take two pebbles away another two pebbles away, another two pebbles away, and another two pebbles away, and so I had to take, I had to take the pebbles away four times, so that means that there is four twos in an eight, or you can do the subtraction, meaning, for example, eight minus two would be the same thing as six. Then 6 minus 2 is the same thing as 4. Then 4 minus 2 is the same thing as 2. And then 2 minus 2 is the same thing as 0. So this is your remainder. This is your remainder. And essentially I had to do the subtraction 4 times. So this essentially tells me that there is that essentially there is four twos in an eight, right? So, and so instead of doing this repeated, basically, instead of doing this repeated subtraction, I can simply divide, meaning divide eight by two, and then the answer is, as you can see, four over here, right? And so to answer the question, for example, how many how many, for example, lakhs, or essentially the, the question that, 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 that was asked essentially was this way. So, for example, one lakh is the same thing as so many, for example, ten thousands. Right? So, one lakh is the same thing as so many ten thousands. We want to know how many th ten thousands are there in a lakh, right? So how many ten thousands are there in a lakh, or how many twos are there in an eight? So eight divided by two. How many te ten thousands are there in a lakh? One lakh divided by ten thousand. And then you can, of course, do the the the, the multiply the division, meaning one lakh would be a hundred thousand divided by ten thousand. And then basically you can do the division this way, meaning that you can say that, for example, you could say, for example, 100,000 divided by 10,000 and then simply essentially cancel out the zeros as many as many as you can and the remain as and, and 10 remains. Or essentially you can do simple division, meaning 100,000 divided by 10,000. What is that? So I have to go essentially um, all the way up to a 10,000, which is all the way up to here, and then put a 1, which, which means 1 times 10,000 is 10,000, and subtract. I get a 0 over here. The 0 goes over here because there is essentially the... the, the um, um, because essentially there is zero ten thousands in a zero right so um 
and so that that's essentially 10 so then essentially then to ask to answer the question how many 10,000s are are there in like that's the answer is 10 or in other words one lakh is 10 ta is 10 10 thousands basically okay so that was basically question number one in the next video we will talk about the rest of the questions thank you